Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 31 on basic statistics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to find the coefficient of kurtosis for a given frequency distribution. In previous lecture, we have discussed that coefficient of kurtosis is denoted by beta 2 and is given by ratio of fourth central moment and square of second central moment. And Excess kurtosis is defined by gamma 2 equal to beta 2 minus 3. So whenever you are asked to find out coefficient of kurtosis, I suggest you to find out beta 2 as well as gamma 2. Okay, this gamma 2 is defined so that we can consider kurtosis of normal distribution as 0. So it is in reference of that normal distribution kurtosis which is 0. Now to find out coefficient of kurtosis, we have to find out second and fourth central moments and we know that by definition rth central moment is given by sigma f times x minus mean to the power r divided by n where mu is mean which is given by sigma f into x divided by n and capital N is sum of all the frequencies or total number of observations. So here first we will find out value of mean for that we will find out this sum sigma f into x we will also find out sum of all the frequencies. Now once we find out mean we will find out second and fourth central moment using this formula. We will not use this formula directly, but we will take change of variable from x to u. We will consider after finding mean, we will consider u equal to x minus mean divided by size of each class. So that we will have x minus mean is equal to h times u. So here this x minus mu will be replaced by h times u and after simplifying we will have this formula for central moment h raised to r divided by n sigma f into u raised to r. So this is the shortcut formula for computing central moment but we don't have to remember this formula separately. We can transform original formula which is given by definition into this formula as I discussed we consider change of variable by this substitution. So with this in mind we try to find out coefficient of kurtosis for this distribution. So first we will require value of mean after that uh, we will require this uh, second moment that is mu2 that means we will require f into u square. So we will require this product f into u square. Now for fourth central moment we will require h raised to 4 f into u raised to 4. So we will require this product f into u square and f into u raised to 4. We will also require f into x where x is the mid value of each class. So first we will find out mid value of each class then we will find out this products f into x then we will find out u equal to x minus mu over h after that we will find out these products and using this formula for central moment we will compute mu4 and mu2 square. So I have prepared the table for this in the first column I have written classes then frequencies and then I have obtained mid values of each class by taking average of lower and upper limit. For first class, lower limit is 0, upper limit is 10. So average of 0 and 10 is 5. So first mid value is 5. Similarly, average of 10 and 20, that is 10 plus 20 divided by 2, which is 15. So in this way, I have written mid values of each class. 
we also require sum of all the frequencies so sum of all the frequencies is 100 so this is sigma f or we can say that it is capital n we require this products for computing mean so we multiply this values values in these two columns 10 into 5 50 20 into 15 300 25 into 40 that is 1000 and so on we obtain this column and uh, we find out this sum and this sum turns out to be 2500 sigma f into x so once we obtain sigma f into x and sigma f we find out mean so mean is given by sigma f into x divided by sigma f sigma f into x is 2500 divided by 100 so value of mean for given distribution is 25 now we change the variable from x to new variable we use this substitution u equal to x minus mean divided by h here size of each class is 10 so if we take upper limit minus lower limit for each class we will obtain 10 so class size is h equal to 10 mean is 25 so we have u equal to x minus 25 divided by 10 and earth central moment is given by this formula this is definition of earth central moment here we replace this x minus mu by h into u so here we replace x minus mu, mu by h into u and uh, this is going to be h raised to r times u raised to r this h raised to r is independent of index of summation so that we can take outside and we have this formula for earth central moment in terms of new variable u so first we find out values of new variable u which is given by x minus 25 divided by h first we start with x equal to 5 so if i take x equal to 5 here i i have to write h equal to 10 now we take x equal to 5 so we have 5 minus 25 which is minus 20 divided by 10 so we have minus 2 then we put x equal to 15 15 minus 25 is minus 10 divided by 10 that is minus 1 then we write x equal to 25 and u will be 0 for x equal to 35 u, u will be equal to 35 minus 25 divided by 10 that is 1 and when x is 45 u will be equal to 2 now we require this products f into u square so we take square of this and we multiply with frequencies so square of minus 2 is 4 4 into 10 that is 4 0 square of minus 1 is 1 1 into 20 that is 20 square of 0 is 0 0 into 40 is 0 square of 1 is 1 and into 20 so we have 20 here 2 raised to 2 is 4 into 10 that is 40 and if we take sum of all these products we have 120 for this summation sigma f times u square now we obtain f times u raised to 4 so this we can rewrite as f times u square times u square so we multiply these values f into u square with u square values from this column that means I have to multiply 4 0 with square of minus 2 which is 4 4 0 into 4 that is 1 6 0 then 20 into square of minus 1 which is 1 so 20 then 0 into 0 is 0 20 into square of 1 that is 20 4 0 into u square here u square is 4 so 1 6 0 and sum of all these values is 3 6 0 sigma f times u raised to 4 so now we find out second central moment it is given by mu 2 equal to h square divided by n sigma f into u square h is 10 sigma f into u square is 120 so after simplifying we obtain that 
second central moment is 1 to 0 then fourth central moment is given by mu4 equal to h raised to 4 by n sigma f times u raised to 4 this summation is 360 and we take h equal to 10 n equal to 100 and after doing calculations we obtain that fourth central moment is 36000 now coefficient of kurtosis is given by beta 2 equal to 4 central moment divided by square of second central moment. Fourth central moment is 36000. Second central moment is 120. So we have square of 120. So this turns out to be 2.5. So coefficient of kurtosis is 2.5. And gamma 2 that is excess kurtosis is beta 2 minus 3. Beta 2 is 2.5 minus 3. So we have minus 0.5. So gamma 2 is minus 0.5 which is also known as excess kurtosis. Excess kurtosis is defined so that we have kurtosis of normal distribution as 0. Now beta 2 is 2.5 or gamma 2 is negative. That means coefficient of kurtosis is less than 3. And uh, coefficient of kurtosis is negative. So we know that for normal distribution coefficient of kurtosis gamma 2 is 0 and if we have negative kurtosis that means given distribution is flat at as compared to normal distribution that is it is platycurtic. So here we are asked to find out coefficient of kurtosis so we have obtained coefficient of kurtosis using this formula. So for this we have applied this definition of central moment this is the original definition of central moment and by changing the variable we obtain this shortcut formula so it is comfortable to use this formula for central moment as compared to this formula here you will have large calculations as compared to using this formula so I advise you to apply this shortcut formula but do you don't have to memorize or cram all these things you just remember this formula and you remember this substitution u equal to x minus mu over h and you can easily convert this direct formula into shortcut formula so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much